it's quite common knowledge that I do, in fact, use my cars too much. So the guys at CarPro, obviously after seeing the old wrap job on the exit, decided to send me some goodies. Now, we are going to be applying some windscreen ceramic coating. We are going to be applying some plastic and wheel protection because that needs to happen. I'm pulling the wheels off and they're getting sprayed. We are also, because I like to eat in the car a lot, putting some leather, some leather ceramic coat in there as well because, you know, easy wipe and all that. And we are putting this skin stuff. Now, this is the stuff that I really want to harp on about in this video. This is a PPF and vinyl wrap ceramic coat. So on top of obviously the paint, we have the vinyl wrap and that needs coating as well. So we're gonna get on, we're gonna take you through the process and I'm actually gonna have a go myself, nice and worrying. So the spaceship is inside. We have the RX-7 here in. Hello, Jason. You put the heater on, lovely. Yes. Lovely, which is what I needed. Now, I wanted to off camera do this, jack the car up, because uh, no thanks. I don't want that falling on me. No. So off camera, it's been put up in the air, but basically it's a whole safe wash that's happened to the car. Just getting rid of all the decontaminants so it can go into space. Yeah. Free shampoo, free snow and to be fair, because we detailed it, what, three weeks ago? Yeah, it's actually quite it's nice wrap, still. It's only needed a wash, yeah. and it's, it's lovely still. Because obviously you you guys saw the clay bar in and all that sort of business, that's already been done. done. So all we need is just get rid of all the dirt that was on it, really. Yeah, basically. So it's actually not that, not that bad, actually. Ready for me to have a little play with ceramic coated, which should be good, but the reason we're putting it in the air and is because... It's here and not next door, because obviously this is our prep plate. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Get excited. This is the prep Once we've got all the dirty jobs done, so wheel arch is nice and clean, got the wheels off. Yeah, I'm putting them somewhere else. Yeah, they're going to get sorted. Because we're ch I'm changing these. I know a lot of people did not like the white, and I, I am a one with you. I do not agree with white wheels. They do my head in. This is after a couple of days, literally. They're ruined. So, they're going to go a different colour, but that's another video. We're just taking them off now. In the prep bay, whilst the uh, wheels are being attended to, going next door. Going in next door. Right, Jason, let's get these monstrosities off this thing. Oh my god! <laughs> They actually wear tons. These are the tyres that are good. The back ones are good. I'm actually going to put new ones on the front. But these are the wheels in question. Basically terrible. Bought very cheap. And I want to see what we can do with them. It's the idea, isn't it, Jason? Yeah. See what we can do with these things. Thing. They're like the heaviest thing. They're circular motion wheels themselves. Yeah, because I ain't picking them up at all. You know what? Yeah, off, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I'm not lifting these up, I know that much. Right, coming past this thing, just winding me up, leave me alone. So the spaceship actually does have a hover option. Look at that. So she's hovering nicely on the jack stands. We've left it like that because the wheels are going to get sprayed and all that sort of good stuff. But that is that is another video altogether. Okay, so I just left the guys to do the inside with this Car Pro inside leather restorer and you will not believe the result. Look at that. So this is the before <laughs> and this is the after. What a huge difference. This is like brand new and I always know these seats were a little bit discolored, but that is absolutely Insane this stuff is absolute nuts. So next up we have the wheel arches which look disgusting So what I'm going to do is use an all-purpose cleaner through this little shooty gun thing It's a shooty gun thing basically try and get as much Disgusting mess out of the wheel arches because it's obviously never been done to this car and obviously as we're very safety conscious on this channel I'm going to use this lovely mask. There we go. Lovely Shout out, 
We're gonna go back and fit them to the car and see if what I thought was right was right, if that makes sense. So color of the wheels goes with the color of the wrap. That's, 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 like, the, that's the defining part. So we're gonna find out oh, whether I did my job right. You're gonna have to drive slow. Because... You have to drive the weight of these. I completely forgot how much they weigh and just putting them in the van there was hilarious. Like you can actually feel again the, feel weight, the weight of them. Of them in the back of the van. Yep. Right, so wheels are out of the car. We've got them back to Jaden Yorkshire. Jason and I are going to show you how to deluxe this product, these wheels. But I'm going to put some gloves on first. Gloves on. Have to take these. That's professional. And the desired effect of ceramic coating. Why are we doing this, Jason? Come on, talk to me. Hydrophobic. Hydrophobic. UV protected. UV protection? I don't know. Oh, it's here. 22 inches. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, look at the. You can see a bit of glitter in there. Indeed. But what's the first thing we need to do? So, eraser. Eraser, which is another car pro Basically, product. Shout oil, out car pro, by the way. Indeed. Oil and polish cleaner. A couple of sprays into all the areas of the wheel. And obviously, I'm asking Jason all of the important questions and actually how to do this rather than just hoping so, for the best. Fully erased. So look, look at the look at the look at the actual glitter. Oh. Basically, you're just looking for any more dust, any more yeah, bits and bobs. So you've got bits at the top there. We just need to go over because obviously, if you put a ceramic coating on top of um, to the area, it needs to be so clean because I'm assuming it won't take properly. You know, it's not. But I must say, they're looking pretty good. James. Look at the well, glitter in there. <laughs> Shout out CNC coatings. They look fantastic, don't they? I love that in the video it looks black and then you glisten past it and they're all glittery. But obviously you want to keep that. That's why ceramic coating with this stuff is its the best idea. In this deluxe kit, you will get... Ooh, you will look at this in here. Suede microfiber S applicators. Oh, look at that. Very, very, very gentle. Very soft, but also super absorbent and they hold onto the product really well. Then, get your applicator yeah. itself, so the microfibers fix onto those. We'll show you how that happens in a minute. Dude. The pièce de résistance, it's actually quite a small bottle, but the amount you can get out of this is... Yeah, you'll get easily out of this size bottle, at least eight wheels. Eight oh, wheels out yeah, of just that. that. Maybe some trims as well. And get you would get eight good. wheels worth of ceramic coat just out of that so, small bottle. <laughs> Do you know what the funny thing is? I can actually feel how grippy this product is. I really get going, so I know full well when it needs a little bit more on the applicator because I can set that it doesn't grip as much as it was. So going from the outside in, done the dishes, the spokes, and then just the face. So we're about three minutes in, and at about five minutes, I need to start wiping the product off. So because we're in a well-equipped studio, from this process, we'll take it onto the heat lamps, just over there, and it's infrared curings. It will cure the coating. To the top, ensuring a really good cohesion bond. Cohesion bond in the background, Jason, oh, like it. Well-equipped studios will have infrared lamps that can cure this stuff properly. Yeah, it, make, the it makes a ceramic coating bond to the raw product. It gives it a stronger, harder finish. So we've, we've noticed that vehicles that we coated beforehand, before the lamps, um, the coatings, especially on wheels, start to drop off sooner. So after the five minutes of getting this product on to wipe off any excess residue, again, something I've never done to a car. I've never really seen this done either. So I really wanted to have a go myself. That's what it's all about, having a go yourself. So just finishing off, taking off the excess residue. What I've noticed is how slick the actual coating has gone from being obviously quite grippy when you apply it and now it's really slick and I can actually feel something on there and how glossy it's become. I mean, look how glossy the wheel is now. Woo! Bill is in the front of the infrared lamps to cure ceramic coating. If I press these buttons here, Ta -da! there we are, and that will bake for the next 11 minutes, and we should be good to go. We've got the wheels on the car. Super excited to see how these wheels look. Now they're on. I've wanted to put dark wheels on this for such a long time and finding the right black, I know it sounds silly, but finding the right black, like a glossy, really nice deep black to go underneath this glittery paint has been one of those things. I just wanted to color match it with the wrap more than anything. So here we go, guys. The 
reveal, sort of, of what the wheels look like on the car. And I, oh, oh, it looks so much better. There we go, the wheels are back on the car, and as you can see, it looks absolutely phenomenal. I'm so happy with how these came out. Again, thank you so much to Car Pro for the ceramic coating on the wheels. They've done an unbelievable product here where these will stay like this, and thanks to CNC coatings, they will stay powder coated and all shiny and glittery. And, oh, just absolutely made the car. And again, I wanted to go with a black with the glitter same as the black glitter that was on the wrap by Monster Wraps. And again, massive thank you to JW Shine. But if you did like this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. And I'll see you on the next one.